Hi guys, I'm Lauren Vitale, and on this episode of Lauren the Kitchen, I'm taking two of my favorite things in the world, pumpkin pie and cinnamon rolls, and we're mashing them together, and we're making pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. They are incredibly good, such a treat for like if you're having people over uh, overnight and you want to make them a really special breakfast. A nice tray of these with a beautiful fruit salad would just be like heaven on a table and uh, they're just so easy to make they require a handful of ingredients which you might already have on hand and the first thing we're going to get started with is the dough of course because it is a yeast based dough we're going to start off with some all-purpose flour salt some pure pumpkin puree unsalted butter that i've melted some sugar some yeast an egg some whole milk and vanilla extract and that is it the very first thing i want to do my milk i warmed it up in the microwave to about 110 degrees to that i'm going to add my yeast this is just regular oil yeast and a little bit of sugar because I want to get this to activate so I'm going to set that aside and it gets all foamy I'm preheating the oven for something else so if you hear rambling going around that's, that's just what's happening back here <laughs> um, you know it'll get all foamy and it'll smell like a wonderful bakery that's what you that you need that you need your yeast to make sure it's activated before you move on to, to the rest of the recipe because if your yeast isn't activated your your dough won't rise and therefore your cinnamon roll pumpkin rolls or whatever you're making just won't be right now i'm just going to take my flour and salt mix those together along with my sugar just get these to sit aside. I am going to make these in my standing mixer, but I just wanted to give that a quick little mix. And then in the bowl of my standing mixer, I am going to add my pure pumpkin puree. Now this is not pumpkin pie filling. This is just pure pumpkin puree. That's what you want. And my butter that I've melted. My egg and just a tiny bit of a vanilla extract, not a lot. And I'll give this a mix with um, my little hand whisk here, just to get it going. And then I'll wait for my yeast to be activated and I'll add to it. That looks good. Now my yeast is activated, you can see it's really, really foamy, that's what you want it to look like. I'm going to add this, making sure to scrape around the edge, to my pumpkin mixture, and you can see this is so easy. There's really nothing, I've been speaking there is nothing to be intimidated about when it comes to making yeast doughs. The most important thing is that the yeast is activated, which it is. So we are in good business. I'm going to add my dry ingredients right in. I mean, how easy is this? Get it all in there. And now I'm, my job is pretty much done for the dough as far as mixing anything by hand. You can mix this by hand if you want to, if you don't have, if you want to knead it by hand, it would just take you a while. So I'm going to do this on my standing mixer, lock this on, dough hook, and let it go for about five to six minutes on medium speed until the dough comes together and I'll show you what it looks like. That looks gorgeous. Okay, that took about four minutes but I'm impatient, as we all know. And this looks good enough for me. It's nice and smooth. Did you hear that? Good enough for me. <laughs> Someone's excited that it's fall and that we are making some good rolls. I'm just gonna take my spatula and you can see the dough kind of comes together. It's not, it's, a, it's tacky, but it's not sticky and wet, um, which is what I want. But I also don't want a dough that's too, too sticky. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to need, I'm, I'm gonna need to add more flour to it. What I'm gonna do is, I'm taking you guys on a wild chase today to find my dough scraper, my bowl scraper here, because it just works a little bit better than my spatula. Okay, this is an oiled bowl. This is the same bowl I had my dry ingredients in. I just oiled it with a little bit of vegetable oil. And now I'm just going to scrape my gorgeous pale orange dough out of my bowl here and then with the brush that I brushed the bowl with with a little bit of vegetable oil I'm just kind of tapping it on the top to make sure that the top is oiled as well so that there's no crust forms anywhere now what I'm going to do now is cover this with some plastic wrap stick it somewhere nice and warm and let it rise for about an hour and a half or so or until it's doubled in size and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there 
My dough has risen beautifully. It took about an hour and a half, so now I am ready to rock and roll. Now, for the filling, you're going to need some granulated sugar, brown sugar, some pumpkin pie spice, and some melted butter. And I also have a little bit of flour here to help me roll things out. Now, I have a 9 by 13 inch baking pan here. I always make my rolls in a 9 by 13 inch pan because it just works really well for me. And I have greased it with just a little bit of melted butter. Now, what I'm going to do now is sprinkle some flour onto my work surface because I need to roll this dough out. I want to roll it out to about a 15 by 9 inch rectangle. So, flour your surface. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's so um, pillowy. The dough is beautiful. It's not too sticky, but it's also not like really super dense because that would make for really dense and heavy rolls, which we do not want. Flour the top. Oh, it's gorgeous. It really is just gorgeous. As you can see, I'm flouring this just a little bit at a time, not too much because I don't want to add too much flour to my dough. So I'm going to lift this a little bit because it's getting a little sticky and then it's the kind of dough that you can like work with your fingers to roll it out i'm going to use this just because i have it my little rolling pin and i'm going to just roll this out to like i said about a 15 by 9 inch rectangle and i use my baking sheet like my baking pan as a guide because this is a 9 by 13 so i'm roughly just about where i want to be all i want to make sure is that it's nice and even. I don't want thicker pieces here, thinner pieces there. I want it to be really nice and even. So take your time. And also what's really good about this dough is that it's so kind of forgiving and that it just does whatever you want to do to it. So as you can see, I'm using my hands to flatten things out and shape them right. Just take my butter, looks like a lot, kind of is, but it's okay, we'll live. Setting that over here, brush it really well, make sure every little piece is coated. I don't want any pieces uncovered because I don't want a single piece not to taste delightful. And I'm just going to mix my sugars and my pumpkin pie spice. Now this has got nutmeg in it and just wonderful, wonderful blend of spices that are traditional in a traditional pumpkin pie, but it also has cinnamon in it, which is traditional for a cinnamon roll. So it's really the, the best of all worlds and it just smells so incredibly fantastic if you wanted to. You could add some nuts to this, some dried cranberries, a little citrus, citrus zest. You really could add anything you wanted to this, but I'm just gonna stick with the sugar and then just make sure every single inch is covered with this delightful spice infused sugar. Now I did leave a little border here because that is going to be um, kind of like how I seal everything together. So you just start rolling this lengthwise like a jelly roll, kind of like picture this as a big cigar or a stromboli or whatever. Just want to roll this up and then I just take this and just pinch it like so. Now remember it has butter on it so it sticks really well and then I just take a little bit more flour, roll this closer to me because I want this seam to be the bottom. And now you can cut this into 16 or 18 rolls. I'm going to do 18 rolls out of this, but again, up to you. And what I do is I cut it in half, and then I know that out of each half, I need to get eight. So, cut that in half again. And then as you put these in your pan, sort of cut side up, you can manipulate their shape a little bit. So, go ahead and fit them all in nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these with the same plastic wrap I had originally covered the bowl with. No need to waste anymore. And then I'm going to pop this back into the mi in my microwave. I don't turn my microwave on, it's just above my stove. And I'm going to let these rise until they've puffed up quite a bit and they'll take, I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they're there and, uh, and then we'll pop them in the oven. Oh, uh, gorgeous. Now I have my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna pop these babies in for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're a beautiful golden brown color. Let them cool. 
and then it'll be time to glaze. You didn't think I wasn't gonna make a glaze, did you? Have we met? Come on. These babies were in the oven for 25 minutes and I've let them cool pretty much completely, but they're still a little warm because everybody knows I eat my rolls warm. Give me a cold cinnamon roll or a cold pumpkin pie roll or whatever, and we're gonna have some issues. <laughs> so it's slightly warm, which is exactly how I like it. They're ooey gooey, they smell delicious, but now I need to make a little cream cheese glaze to top these with, because you know, it can, never, it can never be too rich around the holidays, come on. Now, I've got some cream cheese here that's been softened to room temperature. You don't need a whole lot. And what I have here as well is some butter that I've softened. Just one tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna try and just get the remainder of this cream cheese out of this bowl because it's gonna drop me crazy and because I want it in my glaze. And now to that, I'm going to just add a drizzle of vanilla. Need to. I need to anyway. And then I just use my spatula to kind of just give these a little mix, get them going, and then we'll add in the powdered sugar. Okay, my powdered sugar into that. I'm just gonna add a drizzle of milk, probably about a tablespoon, and then I'll add to it once I have the powdered sugar mixed in with the cream cheese. But take a minute, and then what you do is you kind of press the powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, or whatever, with the cream cheese instead of just mixing it. So just like that, and incorporate it. Just adding another little drizzle of milk. Probably just gonna need a few tablespoons total. And if you want this to be more of a frosting, just by all means, don't use as much milk. Or like don't use any milk at all. But I want this to be a nice thin glaze because I don't want it to be, I don't want to be too thick. I want a nice thin glaze. So it's pretty much combined. Now I'm just gonna take that on my spatula and then just drizzle. Look at that. Let it go into all those little nooks and crannies. So good. So good. Look at that gorgeousness. I think I don't even I just don't, I just don't even. I just don't even. And now you know what I'm gonna do. I'm that person. I'm that friend. I'm I'm that family member that brings you a beautiful tray of cinnamon rolls and the middle one's missing. <laughs> it's just the best one! It's soft and gorgeous and gooey gooey. So Forgive me, my friends. My cinnamon roll, my pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. I'm going right for that center one. Ho, 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 yes. Yes, yes, honey, look at that. I know, I accept the marriage proposal. I accept. Oh, my goodness. I just, I mean, it's like a work of art. Let's cut into this baby. Look how, look how fluffy and pillowy that is. Look at that cream cheese. Oh, look at that. Okay, enough looking. It's so good. I mean, go knock on your neighbor's door, slap them, and come back here and finish this. That's how good this is. I mean, it's got all those gorgeous pumpkin pie spice flavors. That dough is like an edible pillow. That glaze is just the icing on the cake, but in this case, the glaze on the buns, to die for. LaraInTheKitchen.com has a recipe waiting for you. Please recreate these. These are life. These, these are world changing. Recreate these. I expect to see a picture on social media because you guys are killing it with the pictures of my food recently. It's just amazing to see. And uh, I expect to see lots of pictures of these bad boys. And I know most of the time I say, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. But this time, I'm not confident. I know you will enjoy them as much as we do. I do. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.